Hello, so this video is all about why it's difficult to expose yourself as a lottery winner if you win the lottery. I'm a lottery winner, I should know. I'm super excited to share my thoughts. Are you listening? So my name is Timothy Schultz. Over 20 years ago, I won the Powerball. It's one of the most life-altering, powerful, crazy things that's ever happened to me. I'm writing a book about how it's changed my life. I'll put a link below. But this video is all about why it's so difficult for some people, including myself, to come out publicly about being a lottery winner. You know, ever since I won the lottery, I have wanted to write a book about how it's changed my life because I love journalism and it's such a rare thing Thing. I think you have a better chance of being crushed by a meteorite or becoming president of the United States or, you know, a million other things than that of winning a lottery jackpot. It's very rare and people that win oftentimes, at least if they do so publicly, they oftentimes have all these people that come at them for money. People of all sorts. I did, you know, family, friends and strangers. I can't tell you how many letters and pleas for money. If I helped even 1% of all the people that have asked me for money over the years that I felt sorry for, I would have been broke within the first like few weeks, you know? It's like crazy. And I think there's a number of reasons why people feel like it's okay to ask lottery winners for money. I'm making a video about that and I'll put the link below. But for me at least it was very difficult to come out publicly. I've always wanted to write this book. You know, I went to journalism school. I earned a degree in broadcast news and I absolutely love interviewing people. So I've wanted to do this lottery winner web series for quite some time, but I've also in the back of my head I've always been you know, sort of hesitant seeking that kind of attention because I know from firsthand experience what that can mean as far as people coming out of the woodwork. And, you know, I've had people that think I should just hide under a rock the rest of my life. But, you know what? This happened to me. It's real. And, you know, I'm not going to do that because this is a real story. This is my life. This is who I am. I'm a lot of other things besides a lottery winner, but that's one thing. It's one of the largest things that has happened to me. So to have to hide under a rock, not tell anybody about it. Now, I just want to be real with people. I'm not trying to act like I'm super wealthy or anything. I'm not trying to prove anything here. I'm just trying to be authentic. And for me, I love journalism. And I feel that the ability to interview other lottery winners is super um, exciting to me. Like I'm very, very much excited about interviewing other lottery winners and sharing my own story. And I'm not going to hide under a rock because I think that my story is very rare and it's worth telling. And you know, I've also had other people that have told me, you should do it, that I should pursue these things because you know what, we don't know how long we're going to be here, number one. Um, I think you should always pursue your dreams and there are people that are like a billion times more famous than I am that are pursuing their dreams in the public spotlight so so I just feel like it's something that I should be doing so if you're interested in learning how the lottery has changed my life I will put a link below to my book as well as to my web series where I'm actually interviewing other lottery winners um, it's very, very intriguing to hear how it's changed the lives of other people. I know how it's changed my life, um, but to hear how there are a lot of parallels as well with how it's changed the lives of other people. So it's very interesting, but I'll put a link to that below. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. I do weekly vlogs like this one, how-to videos, reviews, and interviews with other people I find fascinating, including lottery winners. So go ahead and like this video. Thank you so much for your support.